started off my mule deer hunt here. Come around the corner and uh, probably 10 mule deers and ended up getting a nice uh, doe here. Nice chip shot there, 100 yards. Sandra punched it and it didn't go too far. Had good spray, so nice blow through. Didn't wreck any meat. Perfect. All right, on. We'll, we'll tag it and load it up. And uh, maybe we'll go check out an elk spot there this morning and see if we can come across it. All right, hard to see here, but there's still a dozen mule deer out here. And we were able to suck this one in here with the winch. Tried to do it by hand, but ta-da, screw it. I got the winch, might as, well, might as well do it that way. So we're off to check a few snares, get this home, and uh, take care of some business. Just coming into uh, Mike's bait here. And it's got some coyote tracks on top of our tracks. We didn't set very many snares here, just a couple to play around. Hung up there. But uh, we'll turn you on if we make any catches here. Okay, I came to one of my spots there. All kinds of hair and uh, snare was tucked in there. But it looks like we had something come eat our, our coyote. I drug it down there somewhere. His hair all the way down. Did pick up a coyote just over that way, but uh, I realized I didn't uh, hit record and I was talking to myself and then I went to make this little clip and seeing it was missing but that's a shame but I seen a bit of hair on the trail over there and I thought well that's not good but I'm not sure we did get a bit of snow so I'm not sure what did come and get it, it looks like a little bit bigger tracks and go that way we got a couple more snares and we'll see what's out here well, this spot here, we got a, a miss. This tight went by and bumped the snare and uh, didn't connect. See a little tuff of hair over here. I hope it's not an indication of something else got ate or just uh, some hair off the other one. One more snare off here to my left and then we'll gather up the other one and carry on. Okay, we're at the other snare here. Not a lot of sign, but they did eat up a whole deer in a couple of days. And that's what we got, another nice coyote here. Pinch pot just in there, just resting up against the willows. Been here a couple of days. Nice fur. Bunch of coyotes going off. They know, they know this is here and they know I'm here. Don't know if you can hear it, but it's almost time to come shoot them. Looks nice to have a big old mule deer doe, but I didn't get a chance to skin these guys. Thought I'd rush out and grab this this morning, actually looking for elk, and then this herd showed up there, so I thought uh, I'll take it. So I'll pull the hide off of it here and let it cool, and then we'll probably just, uh, well, see, maybe I'll take it off and just leave the core altogether or, or gut it, then butcher it. See how I feel once I get the hide off. Welcome back. Today is December 
the 11th and we are going to get things started here. Just rolling up to one bait. And we're going to check it out there. I kind of rushed out of the shop and forgot to take the morning clip there. But a uh, little windy and gusty today. Um, minus two and uh, just sitting on the edge of the field. Kind of just checking things out before I get things going there and watching some snowbirds fly around in the fields and it's kind of neat to to watch hopefully it's gonna be a good day got to move some bait around picked up a roadkill deer yesterday so we'll cut that in half and get that out as well as i shot my mule deer doe yesterday so when i get back today i'll quarter that up and debone it and then we'll freeze that up and make some pepperonis and stuff like that out of it so we are going to get our day rolling here and we're going to catch you at the next set just looking around here we got a bit of tracks and uh this is an old catch spot we had to kind of coyote that laid down there but this time we got a lynx been running around on the trap line been walking around here looking for rabbits I guess and decided to go down this trail so we're gonna remake this set here and uh, let Fish and Wildlife know and let them decide what we're gonna do with it uh, as a resident trapper you can't catch these and keep them but I don't want to see them go to waste either so we'll take care of it and do the right thing here looks like a Coyote came in part ways and checked things out. Or maybe there's another lynx with it. Because there's another set of tracks that carries on over that way. Alright. We'll make this and maybe pop the snare just further up there where there's a good pinch spot. Just because this is getting trampled down a little bit. Alright. We'll carry on. I don't know what's going on today. Well, past the week here. I've been sipping very good. And then I'm just not motivated today. I'm doing my first loop there, looking for signs for elk and stuff like that as I'm as I'm trapping, out going around. I walked out a couple trails after I caught that lynx there. And uh, yeah, so there's a spot here where the coyotes have gone through twice. Kind of my rule of thumb, put a snare if they go through twice. And uh, we made a catch here before and it's a spot that's a little bit open, but I'm gonna go and do it, but just feeling sluggish today. I don't know, tough to get going. Quarter to 10, so I've been at it for about an hour so far, out in the field anyways. So, I don't know, might be a whiny, boring day. We'll see how she goes. Maybe catches will pick up and whatnot, but I'm just thinking, well, I gotta spread bait here, I gotta go do this, I gotta go do that, and I don't know. Maybe it's the shorter days. <laughs> Just whining to you guys anyways, it's not always all fun. It's a lot of work and then, yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll see how how things go and we might pull the, the line sooner than later, I guess, if things keep going the way they are. Enough whining, time to get out there and do some work. Catch you at the next set. Okay, so I came into one spot to freshen it up. So I just dumped this pig part here. Well, there's coyotes in here. There's definitely more sign in here than what I've seen coming in so far. This is all fresh. I've been digging all over up in here, up and down here, steady. Wind's picking up, but uh, maybe this coyotes or coyotes are living in here and just uh, eating and not leaving the bush. It's a fair sized chunk of bush could happen. I see this every year. Anyways, we'll carry on. We dumped off some bait here, lighten the load on the truck and uh, we'll carry on. Gonna try and stay positive today. Okay, so I hadn't videoed there for a little bit. Um, ended up setting up two baits or set some snares on one bait and then uh, I had baited before some tracks there. So I set up 
four snares and then another spot uh, they're done hunting so I went over there and put up uh, part of a pig so I'm just at the strip here and we're just checking it all out and let's see if we got something here passed a couple of snares and then looked over and looks like we got something here and then looking down I think we have some other catches as well lots of tracks in the area and I busted out one coyote into the field so let him run off and uh, let's go check this out so nice coyote this was one of the spots that was bad for a while for mange and mites and stuff but I got them thinned out enough that they're healthy yeah we, uh, came through here I think I had the snare yeah red, rested right up against here or, no actually right in here there's my anchor sorry for going so fast there's my anchor so I'll put it back right where it was and uh, maybe we'll make a catch another catch here we'll pull them out and take a look here Oh, well, there's a good looking coyote. I stopped him in there without videoing. But at the next, very next snare, we end up getting a nice big coyote there. Another one. Good catch. Kind of makes him look a little reddish, but he's not too bad. And we had the snare tucked in right there. So we're going to do the same thing. Throw him back at the truck and uh, carry on. Sweet day out here. Like I said, the wind's picking up and uh, so are our catches. Just looking through the trees there as he's driving up. This one might not be the best coyote. No, he's got the, the mites. Yeah, he's, uh, he's all woolly. And then his shoulders are all opened up. So I'm gonna find a spot to dump these. There's some uh, some brush piles out there that are being burnt right now, so maybe I'll just drive over and chuck them in there, but he's uh, it's another coyote that's uh, out of the system and not spreading his disease anymore. He was just up over here, the snare, so we'll stick it back in there and carry on. Okay, maybe my day's getting a little bit better checking the strip here and made a few catches so far and just coming up to another snare and I see it's missing so let's walk in there and see what uh, what's going on so we were right here oh we got a nice uh, pale coyote there right on we'll uh yeah, she's a nice one. Oh. It's all froze down there, so I'll, I'll free it up and I'll throw it in the back of the truck and then we'll take a look a little bit later. But it looks like a nice, nice one there. Okay, well, uh, maybe, maybe I'll show you what the remake looks like. I haven't been doing that here the last little bit, just trying to hustle, but we'll pull this one out, throw it in the truck and I'll show you the remake. Okay, here's the remake. So I just got it leaning up against the tree. Just a snare sticking out. Some natural blocking there. And my tracks, I'm just gonna sweep them out. Just so it looks so rough. And then there we go. Should be good for another one. Well, it looks like we got another nice coyote here looks fairly fresh I'm just gonna grab a snare from the truck and hop in there and we'll take a better look there you go nice and pale well furred and the uh, pinch point was right here just went around the tree and then expired so might be a little tricky for me to get her out but uh, yeah just like a nice pale coyote well furred we'll take it uh, a couple more snares to check and then we're done here and off to the next spot. Well, a little disturbance here. Looks like it uh, 
broke the snare, which is fine. It's a tight trash on the way in. Let's see if we can figure out what kind of traps we have over here. Coyote came in. Not sure how it got caught. And then, uh, yeah. So we'll remake it. Our pinch spot was right here. Not a big deal. The others. Maybe he's in one of the last two snares over here. Never know. So the last two snares, nothing was in there. Lots of coyote tracks, but the wind was blowing last night, so I think it, the last couple of days, so it blew in the, the trail. So we'll uh, give them a bit more time to make some fresh trails. And just go along here and kind of make a mental note. There's a big trail there. And then another one there. But I think we've got our snares in some pretty good spots. And as uh, those dry up, or we clean out the coyotes here, we'll be more selective and move those ones that go dead into um, the new spots did have a couple spots where we made catches the first time there's nothing else going through but like I said the wind's been drifting and it blows right in there and uh, so it hides all the tracks but definitely no shortage of coyotes still in this area pretty good check there I think we got five one of them there looked at it when I saw it in the truck it's not mangy it's just didn't get good fur so we'll look at it a little bit closer there. Maybe we don't have to send it off to get burnt. We can just put it in a spot where I put the coyotes, carcasses and stuff like that. And let the birds peck at it. But, all right, we'll catch you at the next set. Okay, so on this uh, bait here, she's, uh, she's dry, followed some coyote tracks in and it looked promising. And then where I stopped walking, it stopped and then turned and made its own trail. But not much for bait here. I was just, this is just one of the spots where they travel through. So I'm gonna dump some bait here and hopefully we can connect on, get them coming in again. They're heavy walking on the truck trails. There's a ram right there and a snare tucked right there. They were heavy on the truck trails coming in. And uh, so I think what I might try and do is foothold them there, just play around and uh, make a little bit of a snow hill, kind of like Robert Bedeen does. And put a little bit of lure inside there, make a bit of a cavity once it sets up and then put the foothold just in front of it play around can't hurt right what's the worst that can happen I have to take a coyote out of a trap and uh, bring it home and anyways we're just walking up to the entrance or entrance and exit here and we'll catch you guys at the next bait right on this is uh, one of the spots I wanted to set up for wolves because I knew there's wolves in the area and yeah, one, maybe two walking around in here. I brought uh, this roadkill deer and I'll throw a pig in here too, or half a pig, just to get it all going. But we'll go inside and check our snares. This is the one where it was dark and uh, fresh snow and I couldn't find all my, my snares there. But we'll go in and see what happened here. Okay, just wanted to show you this roadkill deer here. I picked up, but his legs are all freckled with white, white fur there. Second one I've seen this year like that. Kind of neat. White feet on both sides. So that wolf should be back. I have a snare here, um, but I don't have my drill to put the anchor in. So I'll have to figure something out. Maybe put a power ram there where I was thinking with a nice heavy cable. 
but uh, it's good to see they're in the area and hopefully we pick them up in the same trail. Also gonna dump off part of a pig here. Nothing else really traveling through. We got fresh snow here the other day. All my tracks were covered up. So fresh snow since Wednesday and that wolf looks pretty fresh here. He went and checked out the stink pail and we're on a bit of a creek, like a low spot. So that would have just carried through. He came in, paced back and forth, and then went and sniffed it, paced around some more, and then carried out. And he came from the backside over here, in right about here, snips that, and then off that way. All right, we're gonna figure something out here. I'm gonna see what I got. I took my drill out of the truck, and not thinking I was gonna need it. All right, catch you at the next set. All right. So I'm only hanging one because I only have one wire that I'm able to get attached. But it's right there, right in the middle. Nice and high. Right on this trail. We'll come back in a couple days and see what's going on for other sign. And then maybe we'll set more up. You can see I smoothed out my tracks there. And as I back out, I'm just dragging sideways here. Some Caillou tracks and maybe some Fox tracks here too. So, right on. Hopefully we connect on at least this one here and then go from there. We do have the Rams in service here. So we'll uh, expect to catch some Caillou too. That deer should help. The bait was pretty much gone. The only thing that drew him in was that stink pail. So. All right, the day's carrying on. The sun's starting to get low. Two more baits on this stretch and then one close to home. And then I think I'm done for the today. All right, well, we had a snare in here. And uh, looks like we made a nice catch. So it doesn't look like it was here too long pinch spot was right here and it just went around and expired might be why it's so quiet here but I did notice the coyotes were coming from a different spot so I went and uh, set that up put five snares in there on some heavy trails so hopefully that works and uh, we'll try and remake this one here looks like the birds have come around to check them out but didn't pluck them which is good and we'll try and put it right back here there's another spot back there if this doesn't work but i think it should all right we'll catch you at the next bait this is the last spot here and then carry on all right little beaver carcass bait there we're over at glens it's where we had the half a coyote eight so check things out. I'll turn you on if there's any catches. Looks a little bit slow here. I brought some bait this time though. All right, so there's an awfully lot of coyote tracks going in this trail right here. And then inside, that's where they start to explore. They're getting wise to my trails. So we're, and these guys are guys that are here, locals I call them, I think. This is a little bit of a lull, and then we'll start getting other coyotes coming in. Just because these guys are gone, there'll be a void, I'll throw some bait, and then they'll come check it out. But on this heavy trail here, I'm gonna stuff a snare in and see if we can get lucky. All right, I'm gonna dump some bait here. Well, the elk are starting to come out. Play a little goofy here. I don't know if you can see him in the camera, but I get a yardage on him and maybe whack one. There's two bulls fighting right now and the wind's right in my face, so they're good. All right, wish me luck. Okay, they're funneling in. I'm gonna get ready for a shot here.
Just letting them filter across. They don't know I'm here. There's probably about 50 of them. They're splitting up a little bit. Got my eyes on one big cow. And then when she comes, we'll uh, let the air out of her. Well, we waited for the cows to come out and uh, there you go. Came out about a 225 yard shot. And then the herd came up together. And then, uh, yeah, put one in the ribs. She sucked it up, stood there with her head cock cockeyed for a little bit. And then I gave her another one. Then the herd all went around her. And then I could tell which one she was, kept her in the scope there, and then gave her another shot, hit her a little bit high on that one, and then dropped her. But there you go. Got some more meat to deal with there. Uh, Brandy, what do you have to say to me? You can leave some animals in the forest. What do you mean, you can leave some animals in the forest? Just a few of them like to come home. It's like Disney. But not. Disney has a happier ending. Uh, I like happy endings. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that? No. Okay, we gotta figure out how we're gonna handle this situation here. I think that comes off, goes on the butchering table, and then we carry on from there. Right on. I obviously didn't think this through. Got these kites to deal with. Got the elk up there. Some more coyotes here. And uh, got a bunch of this little lady here. But it's only gonna take a little bit. I'm just gonna bag these coyotes here and then go from there. I'll flash them later. Well, we're taking a, a load of coyotes out to uh, their final resting place. See how all that goes. <laughs> 